Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be warming up by painting um, this sort of spontaneous scene here. It's another edge of the park scene, so sort of an outskirts and edgelands painting from my series where I explore um, just the outskirts of towns, the edges of places. The edge of the park here is overgrown with brambles and weeds, maybe a little frosty, and it's just sort of painted spontaneously. I just paint the way I feel without too much of a plan, just trying for this kind of a style of scene using a limited palette. Please excuse any extraneous noise in the voiceover. Sadly, um, I've got roadworks going on right outside my door, um, so that may you may hear a little of that. Apologies for that. I'm using Milford watercolour paper. It's taped to my board. My board's at an angle of about 20 degrees and it's cold pressed paper with a nice texture. I'm going to be using the wet in wet method and a limited palette of um, Prussian blue, indigo, Payne's grey, burnt umber and burnt sienna to create this scene. Just a hair on the page there, trying to get rid of that. I'm going to wet most of the page, leaving some dry patches here and there, and that will help me to create some soft and hard edges as I paint, and give me a little bit of variety as I try to build up this spontaneous scene.
So this first spontaneous layer is just about done. I've laid my board flat so that the washes don't run anymore. And this is ordinary table salt. A small sprinkle of that into the damp paint. Not too wet, otherwise it'll either make a mess or not work. And not too dry because then it definitely won't work. And then I'm just going to etch into those areas with a palette knife and just create the suggestions of brambles and weeds and grasses and things growing up around the little shapes that I'm hoping the salt will make as each grain of salt pushes away the paint and creates a little bloom and a little shape that kind of looks like flowers or frost or seed heads. It's a very pretty effect and definitely one that's worth experimenting with. And then once I've got enough texture into my scene then I shall leave it to dry completely. So here it is, it's dry and I've raised my board to 20 degrees again and I'm just going to do a few finishing touches. I think I just need to clarify the tree trunks a little bit in places. So I'm going to use a rigger brush and mix together some of my dark colours into kind of a bluish brown that will suit the scene and paint in some tree trunks and branches around the paler ones that I etched through the damp paint earlier with the palette knife. These sort of paintings are really, really fun to paint, but more importantly than that, the experimental nature of this style of painting is something that can really help you to develop your own style, because rather than sort of copying a demo or an idea from another painter, um, when you're exploring like this, you're beginning to follow your own creative path as an artist. And it's these kinds of experiments and explorations, along with practicing the basic um, fundamental skills for watercolour painting, that will lead you off in your own unique direction as a watercolour artist. So using the flat brush now to create this little fence, and hopefully this um, very sort of plain repeat pattern that I'm using and making with the tips of the flat brush to represent the fence will bring this scene together so that all these seemingly random patterns, marks and brush strokes should end up looking as I want them to, um, like a sort of a, the edge of the park and a wildflower wasteland. And I think I'm just about done now, so I'm going to remove the tape. This should make a big difference because you can see where my brush strokes have gone over the tape, so the edges look really messy and undefined. But as soon as we remove the tape, we define the edge of the painting and all of a sudden the illusion becomes a bit clearer. So I've really enjoyed this experiment and I can see that I just need to emphasise the trees a bit more. I need to uh, just emphasise some of the tree trunks and branches in a few places and then soften and add to some darks into the canopies in a few places. Um, when you're experimenting like this, um, it's much more relaxing than trying to sort of create a masterpiece, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You can just go with the flow, you can really enjoy yourself, and by taking the pressure off yourself, you can have a lot more fun, and when you're having more fun, then you will progress much faster, because you'll be enthusiastically enjoying yourself, and even if you make things that don't work, it won't matter, because you'll have had so much fun and learnt what not to do in your next painting and then bringing forward into your next painting the areas that you feel are successful from your experimental landscapes. So I hope this encourages you to experiment a bit more and not to focus overly on finished paintings um, all the time because I think that's just a bit of a myth that we need to be painting finished paintings um, all the time. If we really truly want to learn the art of watercolour painting um, then along with those basic skills that we need to learn like controlling the water on the paper, controlling the water in the brushes, tonal values, all that kind of stuff Alongside that is the experimentation that will help us to create unique art and, of course, 
to find that elusive thing, our own unique style of watercolour painting. I hope you found that helpful and if you're interested in um, regular weekly workshops on Wednesdays that help you to find your own style in watercolour painting and help you to learn to experiment a bit more so that you can then uh, paint sort of freely and independently in your own style, then follow the link to my Patreon page below. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's free to do. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we post. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on, pre on Patreon. Uh, we really appreciate you and we couldn't run this YouTube channel without you. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.